Hi, I'm Gabby. I'm Robin. And I'm Ophie, and we're students at Shoals Marine Lab on Appledore Island in Maine. We're going to tell you about EvoDevo and epigenetics and how it affects cancer research. EvoDevo is the study of how developmental changes affect evolution. Epigenetics can play an important role in developmental changes by altering the expression of genes. In the long run, this can create evolutionary changes in an organism. Epigeneticists are looking to map the epigenome, which is thousands of times larger than the human genome itself. The epigenome controls how genes are expressed and can be mapped by examining and recording the DNA methylation process in known genes. The epigenome research, known as the HEP, or Human Epigenome Project, is an extension of the Human Genome Project. Our individual epigenomes are affected by our ancestry and the environmental conditions that our ancestors were subjected to. Changes in the epigenome can be passed down through multiple generations, affecting the offspring's expressions of genes. Our epigenome can also be altered by outside factors during our own lifetime, like smoking and neglect. The epigenome, as seen in this photo, is a heritable entity passed down from generation to generation. However, it can be edited. The epigenome provides a way of emphasizing or silencing genes without altering the genetic code. Changes in the epigenome are created by changes involving methylation marks and histones. A methylation mark is a methyl group that is attached to DNA, changing how the gene is read and expressed, without changing the genome itself. There are three different types of methylation marks. The location, type, and number of methylation marks present can affect the biological function of a cell differently. Histones are proteins around which DNA is wrapped. If the DNA is wrapped too tightly around the histones, proteins are unable to read it, making it inactive and having a similar effect as methylation. Inhibitor enzymes such as DNA methyltransferases and histone deacetylases can undo negative changes to the epigenome, often by working in conjunction with each other. Other proteins can also play a role in activating and deactivating genes. Other epigenomic alterations can include RNA interference, which silences the expression of a gene by not allowing the RNA to be translated into a protein. Cancer research has the potential to become more important over the next few generations as we are exposed to more chemicals and radiation which cause cancer. There are many different types of cancers that affect different cell types in the body. Cancer cells start off as regular cells, but changes in the epigenome and or the genome itself changes the expression of certain genes, causing these cells to divide continuously without going through apoptosis, also known as programmed cell death. Some proteins can be deactivated after the onset of cancer. SMAD4 is a protein that helps to regulate apoptosis, differentiation, and the proliferation of cells. An epigenetic modification stops the expression of the gene controlling this specific protein. By restoring the, the epigenome to its previous state, the protein will be produced again and should reestablish some normal cell development in the cancerous cells. Stem cells are used to repair tissue damage. The older a person gets, the more times their stem cells have divided, accumulating epigenetic damage and increasing the likelihood of error occurring during DNA replication, which can lead to the development of cancerous cells. Myelodysplastic syndrome, a type of leukemia, is a bone marrow cancer that leads to a decrease in platelets and red and white blood cells. The cancer occurs in older people, usually around the age of 70. Epigenetic changes are more prevalent in them since their cells have divided more times and have been exposed to more environmental factors. Scientists have begun trials using epigenetic therapy to treat this disease. The therapy aims to alter the instructions that the epigenome is giving the cell, allowing it to return to normal functions instead of killing the cell off like in traditional chemotherapy. This approach has little known side effects. Epigenetic therapy is a good approach to treating MDS because the cancer is in the blood and so can easily be targeted with drugs. New studies also show that the epigenome may be the cause of chemotherapy-resistant strains of certain cancers. Many genes must be altered to produce this effect, and it's highly unlikely that so many genomic modifications could occur at the same time. By using methylation inhibitors and histone modifiers, it may be possible to revert the tumor to non-chemotherapy-resistant versions, allowing the chemotherapy to kill the cells and have its desired effect.